So this is my uh, my attempt at um, creating an induction bar for the bearing heater, and you can see I've started to uh, after I uh, cut out the pieces, laminated them. Uh, I've got some pictures for that. I'll show those. So at this point with everything laminated together, the original uh, induction bar that came with the heater um, has like a band around it. So I've just, I've uh, bent up and folded a couple of pieces around these. The, the uh, epoxy that I used here uh, is probably going to break down around 300 degrees. Uh, so I'm not a hundred percent sure that would actually hold. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's it's not like a failure would cause something catastrophic. It would just start to delaminate. But um, anyway, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to weld these corners up and uh, maybe put a maybe put a little bead of weld across all the laminations there on uh, either end. I think uh, I think the uh, principle behind it is is that with the uh, with the laminated with the laminations separated with um, shellac and now this epoxy that the current is flowing through the individual um, pieces of metal here. So anyway, that's uh, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to give these little corners here a weld and uh, see what we get. So I got the corners welded up. I also put a little bit of a weld across the bottom here on both ends. And one of the things that I talked about uh, in uh, how the induction heater, bearing heaters work here is that you need good contact on this surface to the towers on the bearing heater. So I just put it in the, uh, I roughed it down with a bench grinder and then I put it in the uh, surface grinder and uh, put a smooth finish on there certainly not uh, um, a good surface as far as uh, surface grinding goes but it's uh, flat and smooth and it'll uh, make good contact with the uh, towers so I'm going to give it a whirl now so this was the, uh, the induction bar that I got with the heater here and you can see it's uh, It's a two inches square. The one I made up here is uh, I shot for a half inch square. This uh, band around is a little bigger, but um, if I have to, I can do a little bit of work on that to get a smaller diameter bearing in there. And uh, so this is a cold bearing right now, and this is a first try. I'm uh, I don't have the holes in here for the dowels like the originals do, but uh, I think that should work. And then if if this guy works, I'm going to make something in between the two inch and the half inch. So that's running about 50 degrees there, the way it is, and uh, let's see what happens.
Woo! It's a bit heavy. So on that outside uh, race at 90, and uh, the inside is uh, 150. I think we're going to call that a success. The bar itself is still, uh, there's a bit of heat in it, in the middle there where that bearing is, but out here at the ends, it's cool. So I think it's just transfer of heat from the bearing into the bar, actually. Definitely warm. Alrighty.